Facing in the modified class is rough. And to consistently end up in the top of the pack, it takes skill, guts, and raw determination. Many of the top drivers have used this division as a springboard to big time racing. And several times each year, the modified division of NASCAR stages a variety of championships on the paved half mile track at Martinsville, Virginia. Large purses draw drivers and cars from all over the Southland. But more important, a ride into Victory Lane at one of these races could be a ticket to a ride on the Grand National Circuit. Well, needless to say, the boys were primed and ready. This half-mile plant at Martinsville, Virginia, offers some of the best racing on the NASCAR circuit. We've covered several modified races at this track, and every one has been a thriller. The fans will attest to that. They come from miles around to root for their favorite. Car number 11, driven by Ray Hendricks, is the favorite. He has a room decorated with trophies received from this track, and he just might be on the threshold of Grand National Racing. Ray was the fastest qualifier for today's field and will line up at the rear of the field for a completely inverted start. Carl Stevens, another strong contender, is entered in this one. He'll have the 32nd position in this 35-car lineup. With all cars waved onto the track, we noticed that the field was a little Chevy heavy, but there were also several Plymouths and Fords. And for the first time, we saw Corvairs and Camaros. The one thing all cars had in common was power, plus 35 drivers all going for the checkered flag. Car number 37, Bill Smith, is on the pole and leads the pack out on the parade lap. 47, Jerry Robertson starts alongside. Paul Radford is in the 04 with Harold Martin in number nine. Remember, this is an inverted start. The hot dogs are in back, and it makes for Times Square traffic when they start to move up. All cars holding well as they come through the fourth turn, and suddenly the sounds of power split the air when the green flag falls and they're off. With only a quarter of a lap under their belts, there's mayhem in turn two. Ed Yarrington in car number 23 lost it in the first turn hit Jimmy Griffin, spun him, and stacked up enough traffic to draw the yellow flag. Griffin's Camaro is towed away with driver aboard. All cars go back into the two abreast lineup, come down to the green flag, and this race is officially restarted. On the front chute, Paul Radford in the 04 car slides under Bill Smith's Chevy to take the lead as they pour into turn one. Another one spins in the first turn. This time it's Bernie Miller in the black and white number 41, but he's all right, turns around, stays on the track, and goes back in the race. Bradford has that 04 all wound out trying to stretch his lead. He knows that somewhere back in the pack, Hendrick is coming on. Now Hendrick in the red Camaro, number 11, has moved into third with Bud Stevens running fourth, and both cars started at the rear of the field. Pit row, and that puts Ray Hendrick in the lead. 
All cars have slowed down and are holding their position under the yellow flag. Behind Hendrick, number 38 is Jerry Cook, three, Fred DeSero, and Stevens in the fourth slot in number 15. Car pulls off, the green flag falls, and they're underway once again. Bud Stevens in the white 15 could be the boy to catch Hendrick, but right now he's having a battle with Fred DeCero in number three. Another engine lets go. It's Bill Harmon's number seven Chevy. It's a championship race, and they push him hard. Sometimes too hard. Stevens finally takes DeSero on the high side. Now Budsey is number two, going for the big one. Hendrick has that Camaro handling beautifully as he passes high or low. Desero and Cook side by side coming through the second turn. They're waging an all-out war for the third spot. Ray Hendrick is still the boy to catch. Buck Stevens in number 15 is second. Jerry Cook third. And number three, Fred Desero fourth. another Martinsville victory. Here he is out of the fourth turn, and he points the nose of that number 11 Camaro under the checkered flag for the win. And just a few seconds later, Kyle Stevens in number 15 flashes across the finish line for second. Seeing Ray Hendrick drive into victory lane is a familiar sight to thousands of these Martinsville race fans. Today's tour of the 100 laps made him $800 richer and took 44 minutes, 11 seconds. He's a veteran in this division. And soon, he could be the rookie to watch on the Grand National scene. Two races and two checkered flags in 30 minutes. It's got to be time to go home. I hope you enjoyed the past half hour and that you'll stop by next week. We've got some of the top racing events coming your way in the next few weeks here on Car and Track. Plus some comparative road tests that just may answer a lot of questions concerning your next car. And then too, a few trips to the Motor City and a glimpse at 1972. Until next week, remember the best accessory you can add to your car is a courteous driver. Try it, won't you? Bye-bye.